three, two, zero. InSight is the first mission that's going to study the deep interior of Mars. So what we've done in the past is send rovers and landers that really explore the geology of Mars, the chemistry of the surface, what kind of rocks are there. We're going to explore the deep interior and try to understand how active are the quakes on Mars. We call them Mars quakes, not earthquakes. And then we're also sending a probe that's going to drill into Mars about 10 to 15 feet and it's going to understand the heat that flows from the core of Mars. And so all this information will help us understand, is there a liquid core, a solid core? How did Mars form as a planet? And this will help us understand how Earth, as well as any rocky planet in our universe formed. Once we've entered the atmosphere, the drag in the atmosphere slows us down, heats us up, and the heat shield protects us during that time. Once we've gotten um, down to a low enough speed, we'll deploy our parachute. The parachute will slow us down even more. We'll get rid of that heat shield. That lets us deploy our lander legs, turn on our radar. At that point, we can separate from the parachute and we propulsively um, fire our thrusters to slow us down even further. And then we land directly on our legs right onto the surface of Mars. I've been trying to think about what it's gonna feel like on landing day for a while and I'm not sure. <laughs> it's gonna be a mix of emotions. Um, I'm, I'm nervous, very nervous about landing day, uh, very anxious. Even in the simulations we do, I get knots in my stomach very worried it's there's everything has to go right for it to work but at the same time uh, i've been on this mission for a couple of years now i know we've done literally hundreds of thousands of simulations once the spacecraft lands that's when a lot of us who have been working what we call the surface mission take over and so we want to make sure that the spacecraft is healthy on the first few days after landing and then we want to start deploying our instruments on mars so that's a a pretty involved process that involves taking lots of images doing lots of checkouts one of the engineers had this interesting idea that um, we should shave on the day we launch and not shave again until we land on Mars. I, some reason, accepted that, that offer. And so there's a few of us that, you know, we shaved on the day we launched, haven't really shaved since then, and this is the result of that. I am excited about landing day for another reason, because then I can shave, and my wife will be very excited too. I think it was Ranger 7 that was the first successful Ranger mission. We had six uh, failures before that. And before the launch for Ranger 7, somebody happened to pass around peanuts and it was just this kind of random thing, and so everybody had peanuts, and then Ranger 7 was a success, and you don't mess with what works. So <laughs> ever since then, we've been having peanuts for all launches, and then in recent years, all critical events. So we all pass around the peanuts and make sure that, that we get that extra little bit of luck in there, just in case. 